Hey guys, what up, what up, Snark51 here, and back with, um, so I'm still in Parable. I didn't know what to play, and Gmod wasn't working right for me, and I still don't have any friends because it's another snow day. Two snow days in a row, it's pretty awesome. And so, yeah, we're just going to play some more Stanley Parable. So, here we go. Um, no face cam, because I find when I play Steam games, if I don't have face cam, it's less laggy. I'm just going to be doing that till the end of March when I get my new computer because this one's clearly and obviously not as fast as the one that I'm going to be getting. So, yeah. And also this is a Vista, so. But, of course, the loading time's not going to be any faster, so we're just going to wait this out. of a man. Alright, so we're back and it's all loaded up. I'm yet to see how less laggy it is. And it's actually pretty good, so yeah. All of wow, this is amazing. Were gone. Oh, you shut up, I mean? don't care. Whoa. Okay, we Stanley got decided to go to the <laughs> meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a man. Oh god, do I want to? I don't even remember the code, so Okay, that's a wall, so... Well, this is kind of going into the game. It's been a while since I've played this game, actually, so... Get when Stanley came door. to a set of two open doors, no. he entered the door. This was not the correct way to the so meeting room, like and Stanley knew it perfectly well. The other Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth yes, admiring. Yes, yes, It would have been worth the detour after But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah, I will say it's not quite as like easy as it was. And no, screw you with the double middle fingers. I do them, but... Uh, Stanley was so camera. bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <clears throat> I like to Look, go Stanley, I think <clears throat> perhaps we've Rough gotten off on the wrong um, foot here. Advertisement for this I'm not your really enemy, fun. really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is mm -hmm. that the story has yeah, been yeah. about nothing but you Whatever, all care. this time. Do I sound like I care? Honestly. I do not There's give a flying you've been F. neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by what yourself. What was that? That was a weird noise. Oh. Now, I'm not asking for me. Mm -hmm. I'm asking for her. Who's her? Tell me. This is it, Stanley. Oh, why? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put oh, your work aside. To let her back into your life. Because I need a woman. Totally. She's been waiting. Do I care? Ooh, uh, the... That's her, Stanley. Yeah. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Yeah, if you court, can truly place your faith in... Yeah. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just Ooh. unplug the phone? Yes, I did. <laughs> now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You Very actually carefully, you take the correctly. plug and you I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah. I knew there had to be another choice. Let me double check. Mm. Can I pick up the phone? No, ah, no. It's definitely here, <laughs> clear as day. I don't care. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge mm -hmm. themselves to one another. Music <coughs> comes in, fade to white. I doubt Stanley has a wife. He spends every waking moment at this job, which apparently sucks. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. Unless I'm a human being, which he, Stanley is a million, but. I don't understand. Yeah. 
How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... What? Wait a second. Did what? I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed what? it sooner? What? 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 You're not Stanley. You're no. a real person. I'm a woman. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. Mm-hmm. Sadly, yes. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. I'm getting something to keep me warm. Cold. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Oh, dear. <laughs> Chilling today. Spent 10 feet of snow outside. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional yeah. video. Choice. Choice. <laughs> it's the best part of being a real person. Yeah. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. Yep. That's not For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years oh, yeah. helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Mm-hmm. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. <laughs> Allow the person to finish oh, their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, Good my goodness, is it 4.30? <laughs> My goodness, is it 4.30? <laughs> oh, God. Guys, I'm not crazy, right? What? What's going on? <laughs> I don't have another bird. My mom. War stash. War stash! Head your foot and come here. Oh, my gosh. Stupid cat. Oh, God. What have I done? Okay. <laughs> oh god. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision making oh process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember yep. that in the vast infiniteness of space, mm -hmm. your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, oh your instructor Whoa. will guide you in an exercise to test on? and reinforce the material uh, covered in this uh, video. Uh, 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 uh. Welcome back. Oh, no, what you may have noticed oh, that oh, this God. room oh, has begun oh, to God. deteriorate oh, no. as a result oh, no. of, a of contradiction. Now that you're properly informed oh on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. Let me out! Teacher. Teacher, everyone. Oh, God. Oh, this is in the way of the door. This way, please. Oh, well, it looks pretty normal here. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, wait. I see a way I can get off. Right here. <laughs> Let me out. Uh, I can do it. No. Ah, oh, it's an invisible wall. Well, fine. No place I can get out. No. Okay, then. Fine. Have it your way. Oh God. 
What have I done? Even though your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine nope. the main character dying senselessly know, right. halfway through the story. That story would yeah. make no sense at all. Whoosh. Whoosh. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Uh, unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Mm. Oh no. My life is a sham. So, where am I going? Oh god, this is so insane. <laughs> Caution, do not lie. If you were lying right now, so. Well, fine then. I'm a crack addict. There you go. Kidding, I'm not. I hate drugs. Drugs suck. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Hold on. Turn. Faster. That turn just turn. That turn just. Oh my god. That door just turned blue and then it turned Wait. What the frick is going on? Give me that cup. Mm. Okay. What are you? Okay. Almost there. You'll take the door on the mm -hmm. left, and back to the correct ending. Is the story all? will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free I in the real not. world. Oof. Just run into a door. Okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Now remember, all you need I'm to do is failing. behave exactly as standard. I'm really dumb. That means choosing responsibly <laughs> and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Well? All right. <clears throat> oh, okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, La he his left. La Whoa! Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh my God! What's going no. on? No! Why did you do oh that? Oh, Quickly! This hurry is so back bad. in the other direction. Oh. Perhaps we're not too I broke late. It. Oh God! Run! Run! Run as fast as I can! I can't run! I can't run in this game! Oh God! 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 Oh God. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> Let me go! I'm going! Oh God! That was uh That was. Running. I can't actually run. But... Oh. Ah. oh no. What's going on with the chairs? Oh, it's ruined. You oh, God. I can't believe after everything we've talked about that you my oh, story. You've destroyed my work. Oh God. Ugh. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Okay. Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed I to do? Not. Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Yes. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly I'm destroy jelly. all of my work? Come on, I don't know. What's the answer? No, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? No, I have to. I'm sorry. I have to shut the game down. I have to. Whoa! Ah! I have oh, jeez. What's going on? Oh, God. What did I do? What the frig is going on? Here. Shivers. Oh, God. 
I'm still here, here in this pile of rubbish, with you, you, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire you game was destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it! That thought had not had not had not had not even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, it's a light. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and inventorious. It would have been so perfect. Oh. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make. What? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly what? and always putting the what? story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and it you'll be broken. fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came what? to a set of two open up. doors, he entered okay, the door on his left. It's probably still messed up. Ugh. Stop getting stuck on stuff, please. Why is it normal? What? This is weird. This is Yet too there was weird. not a single person here either. Feeling a no. of disbelief, Stanley not... decided to go up to his boss's office, <sighs> hoping he might find an answer there. there. But I can't open it! Hmm. But... Boo. Close the door. Close the What? Downstairs? Coming to a staircase, what? Stanley What's walked that? upstairs to his boss's oh office. So well, um, this is. I don't know if I. What? You want to see something that Okay, that's not the color that's supposed to be. That looks like the demo. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. <laughs> my computer's nicer than that. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who oh orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice so receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. Night he had shark. seen it on his boss's one, one, computer five. just last week. Night Shark 115. This game doesn't pick up my voice. It doesn't. And I know it does. It doesn't. Night Shark 115. Was this the code? Night Shark 115! One, still work. There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the <gasps> courage to fight. Night Shark! Him. One, one, he drew five. a sharp breath and then God, spoke the code. Oh God, he's gonna yell at me. Oh God. Gotta hide. Gotta hide. Um, I'm gonna hide here.
<clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night shark one one five. He spoke it into the receiver. Night shark one one five. <laughs> Please speak the uh -huh. code to the receiver. And Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial uh, step. Out of time. Nope. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I... I asked you for this one single really thing for your respect. Die. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices, because no he knows what it means guy. to take a story seriously. No. There's no... If you didn't want to see what I had to show door. you, then why right. did you come here? Just you had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. Because I had no choice. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? I'm not a coward. Whoa. Speak. Say something to me. Don't Explain you yourself, you coward. You. It's Stanley. Hello, Stanley. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley. Stanley. Oh, God. Stanley. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? <gasps> it's an actual landing! Oh, please. I... Oh, you're I welcome. I need to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. <laughs> well, I also gotta tell you something while we're watching this. Um, Gary's mom was on too. <laughs> and I have a few bucks. I have like five bucks. So I was like, well, it's on sale. I really like playing Gary's mod, and I want my friend to play it with me. Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. So I thought, well, her birthday is still a few months away, but I said I'd get it for her for her birthday, and it's probably not going to be on sale until her birthday. So I thought I'd get it for her. So I got for her, and I sent it to her, and I said, you might want to check Steam. So she checked Steam. She is so freaking happy. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Anyway, um... Wow, that's sad. Anyway, um... So, you Man, that's so sad. Are you there? You listening to this, Danny? Are you there? Okay. It's okay. I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. Oh my gosh. That is the best choice. Hmm. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is, um, a thing you can do. It's not that obvious, but if you pull the cord out of the wall, then all that happens. And, um, yeah. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you later. Um, now I guess I'm going to be starting to have Gmod videos with, um, Soul after we get the Counter-Strike things, boob thing, and yes, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Stay awesome!